in the video to support that. And, you know, going forward, I mean, there's supposed to be a protest on the 15th, the tax day protest or whatever. Um, I would expect Snow to be a, a presence. I mean, he's enjoying the media coverage in a limelight. Um, you know, was JSO going to manage him differently in terms of... We will manage the entire protest differently. Okay. So, absolutely. All right. Thank you. I think Sebastian's got questions. Yeah. I did. <laughs> I, was trying to, I saw you over here and I was trying to keep you from having to repeat yourself. That's okay. Um, but I guess, can you just kind of start over, I guess, with the, with the answer you originally given AG as far as the, the handling uh, on, on Friday? So, again, we, we are looking, we've got about 15 videos that we're looking at, 13 to 15. Uh, and we're evaluating several things. We're evaluating our process. Uh, we're evaluating, you know, operationally, what can we do to improve the, to make sure we keep an environment that, that is conducive to having a peaceful protest. Uh, we've gotten many complaints about the use of force uh, with the officers. We will look at that as we always do. Those videos and those complaints have been forwarded to internal affairs. And those investigations, again, have already begun. Um, so, but none of that will be finished really in, before we have the next protest. So some of that we're pulling out is really a focus on what can we do, uh, in particularly Saturday or Friday, whenever there's a, the, the next protest, to make sure that we can try to provide a peaceful environment from our standpoint. And then it's incumbent upon everybody involved to make sure, again, take a step back, take a deep breath, uh, don't let the emotions of the, of the event overtake you, and, and, and just do the right thing. So we want to make sure that, again, we are educating people about what you can and can't do in protest, all that. We'll we've done that for years. We'll continue to do that. Um, we're not going to infringe upon anybody's right to protest, but there may be some additional restrictions that we put in place, uh, really uh, addressing what we believe to be a new dynamic in protests, not only in Jacksonville, but around the country. So, I mean, it's it's just a you know matter of time before we had to deal with something like this. You mentioned internal affairs. Has there already been a start of internal affairs investigation to look at the, the force that was used on Friday? And if Absolutely. That was justified? Well, any, anybody that makes a complaint like that, we, we forward those. We don't, we don't, uh, we always afford people an opportunity if they have a complaint to make to do that. So in, the, in this case, we've had several that have come in. And so again, that those complaints along with uh, the, the, the videos that we have are for the internal affairs so they can review those, investigate those complaints. There was been a talk about one of the things that popped up almost immediately was when all this kind of escalated, uh, cause obviously they've had plenty of these, but when it escalated was right when the two groups came together. Sure. Is there going to be more done in the future to try to, to, to separate? Because I know when I was at the Donald yeah. Trump rally in August, your, your, your men and women did a pretty good job of they knew right. it would be an issue. They kept a line between them. That didn't happen on Friday. Sure, and, and that, the short answer to that is yes. So there's always been a question floating around of how much can we restrict someone's ability when they're protesting. If they're in a public place, you know, how, can, how, how much access or how, how, you know, can we put them in a box and say you have to be here and you have to be here. I think with the events of last Friday night, clearly now we have some evidence here in town to say, look, we've got uh, an environment that is, is going to require us to do that, to be able to maintain public safety. So I think moving forward, you'll see that when you have, whether it's pre-planned or not, that we have both groups there. If we have obviously a, a counter protest emerge, then we're going we're gonna to separate those groups. So we're in conversation with OGC, uh, and the state attorney's office. We don't make these decisions in a vacuum. Obviously, lots of attorneys are weighing in uh, to these discussions and, uh, and, and making, again, the rules. Those rules, again, we're not going to surprise anybody with them. If we can identify the, the, uh, the uh, leaders of the protest or the organizers, we're, we're going to be very clear about here are the rules and here's what we expect you to do in the protest. So um, I would anticipate you know, crossing that whatever imaginary line that may be there uh, or potential physical barricade may not immediately result in arrest. But soon thereafter, it will. So, and again, that's the, the threshold that we're talking with attorneys about here in town. And you talked about, uh, also one of the other complaints that I've heard repeatedly since Friday is the they felt like there was different treatment between the, the original protesters and, and Mr. Snow when some were being charged with inciting while he was getting in people's faces, while he was making gestures, sure. making comments, sure. and they feel that they've been treated differently. That he was treated differently, and they always go back to the picture of him just kind of leaning on the car while other people are, are being cuffed and, and sure. put in the vehicles. How would you respond to that? So I, I'll tell you this. I think we uh, there was one uh, of the six, one arrested was a, I don't know what you would call him, a pro-Trump. I don't know if he was with the, this guy, Snow, or not. I have no idea. Um, but we're only responding to what we see. So, again, we're going to enforce the law. It doesn't matter what side of the political equation you're on. Our goal there is to keep the peace, and, that, and that's what we're going to do. So uh, we will clearly look and examine any claims of favoritism. Uh, again, we're not going to discount that, but we will look at it. 
but the goal is again to make sure the protest overall is peaceful no matter what side of the equation you're on uh, and, and hopefully with some new some new things in place we can we can do that the yeah, first question this is my last question I think you were answering this for AG right when I walked up you would expect more than likely to, to handle Mr. Snow a little bit di differently moving forward any counter protester would be handled differently moving forward absolutely yes yeah. thanks, thanks sheriff. sheriff thank I you man